not this bad. Gym too, my exercise. <laughs> oh, he's eyeballing the There we go. Yeah, he is. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have Allison out here with Rio. She is helping me out with the horses. He's pooping! <laughs> so I am taking Allison under my wing and I am teaching her all I know. Because she shows a huge interest in everything that I do with the horses because one day her goal is to have her own horse so she's smart cookie she's out here working them now it ain't easy work guys look at how sweaty and dirty i am 
Working with horses involves a lot of physical activity and uh, a lot of mental health, a lot of mental strength and physical strength. So this, you know, you got to be tough. <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah, look at that, how funny I am. So anyways, Allison's out here joining me and I love her attitude and her commitment to this. It's awesome. So we're teaching Rio the long lines. We're not trying to push him too much. We're just trying to let him figure things out right now since he is a baby and we've just, um, this is just day two working with him. We want a confident horse, not a worried horse or a, or a horse with no confidence. And since he's young, he's got a clean slate and we could do it the right way. And if you're all wondering where I got my lovely harness, <laughs> cinch harness over there, I got it off of twine. I just braided some twine, made some little loops, and that's all what I did. And it's working out great. So we're doing a little desensitizing and getting some tickles out. So when we do put the real cinch on, he's going to be perfectly fine. But yeah, guys, just get a little creative. Make your things. You don't have to go and spend a hundred bucks or so. I mean, I really don't know how much the harnesses things are, but eh, that's why we keep a lot of our twine. 